Hello and Assalamualaikum to all. Today we are going to proceed to chapter 5.2 electronic configuration. Okay, learning outcome. Today we are going to study about Aufbau principle, Hans rule and Pauli exclusion principle. And all this information we are going to use to fill the electron in atomic orbital. And at the end of the lesson, you should also be able to write using SPDF notation for the electronic configuration of atoms. Okay, for us to assign the electron to orbital, we need to know these three rules. Aufbau principle, Pauli exclusion principle, and Hans rule. So, what is all this thing? Okay, Aufbau principle. Okay, Aufbau principle states that electrons are arranged electrons are arranged in its order of increasing energy okay before this we have uh, studied about orbitals right orbital s orbital p orbital d so there are orbital 1s there are orbital 2s there are orbital 3s there are also orbital 2p 3p uh, 3d and so on okay so all these are called atomic orbital Okay, all these are called atomic orbital. But uh, how do we know in terms of energy? Uh, is 1s lower energy than 2s? Is 3s lower energy than 2p? So how do we know this? Uh, we need to know this because Aufbau principle states that if you have electron, the electron must fill the lower energy first. Okay, in order of increasing energy. Uh, it means the first electron must be place in the lower energy orbital first okay so let's see how this is going to be done eh? okay for me easier for you to draw a table here like this draw a table like this and you start filling up the numbers okay the first one here is 1s okay 1s and then 2s and then 2p Okay, and then do it like this. Eh? So, 3s, 3p, 3d. Okay, you might be asking, sir, why don't you write down 1s, 1p, uh, 1d? Okay, this is due to the NLMS. Okay, s, s, you should know, it equal to the number when L equals to 0, right? Okay, when L equals to 0. Uh, so, you cannot have orbital p when the orbit is 1. Okay, 1 here refers to the orbit. Yeah? Uh, so, at orbit 1, you can only find orbital s. Okay. Okay, I hope that is clear to you. I, I, I do not want to further explain this to you because you might be more confused. Okay, and then this one will be for s, for p, for d, and for f, and so on. Uh, you, you can continue writing. Yeah? Okay, for us to do this, for us to determine which one is the lower energy, you start your arrow like this. Okay, so we touch 1s first, right? So 1s is lower energy than the next one, which is, which is this one. Okay, I, I draw the box like this, easier for you to understand. Uh, so it will touch 2s. So 2s is higher energy than 1s, but lower energy than go to the next one. 2p, 3s. So, this one is larger energy than 2s, but lower energy than 3s. And proceed to the next one, to the next box. Uh, so, this is the next box, and you are going to touch 3p. 3p, and then you are going to see 4s. And so on. But this is uh, the important one. Uh. This is... Uh, the usual electronic configuration that you are going to find out okay if you go further if you go further uh, it will be the same thing this one will touch this one will touch this one and we'll go to 3d okay and we'll further go to 4p we'll further go to 5s 4p eh, sorry 4p 5s Okay. <clears throat> okay, and then you can see that 
this is the order of increasing energy. So electron are going to be filled uh, like this lah. Starting from 1s and then 2s and then 2p and then 3s and then 3p and so on. Okay, that is half bar. Uh, you can use half bar only. You need to know all three. Yeah. So let's proceed to the next one. Okay, Pauli exclusion principle. Pauli exclusion principle states that there are no two atom, uh, two electron in an atom that can have four quantum number. Okay, no two electron in atom that can have four quantum number. Okay, what does it mean, sir? Huh? Okay, for one s. Okay, for example, one s. Okay, one s means that you have one orientation, one orbital that can fit two electron. Okay, so one s means that if I draw this one. Uh, like this if I show it to you like this okay the electron NLMS okay for 1s let's say I draw an arrow upwards here showing the electron it means that if you have two electron the other electron must be like this it cannot be like this or like this or 1s like this like this uh, so this one is not possible because Pauli exclusion principle tells you that if there are no two electron in atom that have the same four quantum number, if you have two, one must be in different spin, at least in different spin. Okay, for example, let me relate this one to NLMS. Huh? So we want to relate to NLMS. Okay. Remember, this is the same like previous lesson. Huh? So N, what what is N? N is orbit. So one S, one S means that the orbit is one. N is one. L. Okay. Again, what is L? L equals to n minus 1 maximum huh? so you only have 1 so n minus 1 is 0 lah you cannot have number negative huh? for s uh, for l okay orientation for n we refer to the number 0 here so 0 only 0 lah uh, so you can have positive half and the other one is 1 0 0 negative half so this is what i mean so this one might refers to this one and this one, this number might refer to the other one. Okay, so if it is the same like this one, it means that both of the number is the same. Both of the NLMS is the same. Uh, so based on Pauli exclusion principle, it is not possible. Huh? Okay, next one, Hans rule. What does Hans rule tell you? Yeah? Hans rule states that the most stable arrangement of electron in subshell is the one with the greatest number. Of parallel spin okay uh, do you understand this word eh? okay what does it mean here uh, most stable arrangement of electron in subshell subshell okay one s okay orbital s only have one orientation one orientation if I represent this one into into orbital uh, atomic orbital it means that one orientation here can fit two electron, right? Okay. But orbital P, you should remember that this one have three orientation. How do we know it, it is three orientation? Because this is when L equals to one. When L equals to one, your M is negative one, zero, positive one, right? So this is three number. Three number means three orientation. Okay. So for orbital P, actually, you get this three atomic orbital, P. Okay. And if you want to put, let's say, three electron, okay, one of the orbital here, one of the orbital here can fit each one of it. Each can fit two electron, okay? Each can fit two electron. But Hans rule states that if you want to fit three electron, let's say you only have three electron, uh, what arrangement is the most stable? So it says parallel spin. So means one electron, two electron. 3 electron. This is the most stable configuration. Okay. Okay. So if you want to put, let's say, 1 electron, where, where do you want to put in orbital P here? Okay, you put here. If you want to put 2 electron, where do you want to put? 1 and 2. If you have 3, uh, like this earlier, right? If you have 4 electron, uh, and then you put again at this part. And 5 and 6. Each one of this orbital can fit two electrons. So orbital P can fit maximum uh, six electrons. Okay, so let's see. Uh, how are we going to combine all this uh, information to write SPDF notation? 
Okay, so when you want to write electronic configuration, there are two ways. One is SPDF notation and one is orbital diagram. So let's see example on how to write SPDF notation. Okay, state the electronic configuration using SPDF notation for this thing. Eh? Uh, sulfur. Okay, there are three things. Uh, there is sulfur, uh, sodium, and chlorine. Chlorine, there is charge. Eh? So sulfur. Okay, how do we know? How are we going to write down SPDF notation? Okay, for you to write down SPDF notation, you need to know the AFBO configuration. Lah. So 1S, 2S, 2P, 3S, 3P. P, 3D, okay, like this. If you draw a box, easier lah. 4S, 4P, 4D, 4F, right? Okay, so we can write down 1S2. Okay, 1S2 because 1 is the lowest energy. There are 16. 16 here refers to proton number. Proton number is equal to the number of electron for neutral atom. This is neutral atom, eh? So 16 proton also equals to 16 electron eh? uh, electronic configuration refers to the number of electron okay so now we have put two electron already in orbital 1s okay the next thing is you are going to go to the next lower energy which is 2s and how many electron you can put inside here two okay so 16 minus 4 okay you still have 12 electron to put inside the orbital and next one is 2P. Okay, 2P. And remember, P have three orientation. Eh? It have three orientation. So, each orientation, you can fit two electron. So, maximum here, you can have six. Okay, so 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. Uh, now, it is already 10. Okay, next, lower energy is 3S. Next, higher energy is 3S. So, 3S, how many you can put electron? Two electron, okay. Two electron in orbital S. So six, four, ten, twelve. Okay. Next one, next one is three p. So three p. How many electron you can fit? Six, right? Okay. But now you need to be very careful. Okay. This is already ten. Two plus two plus six is ten. Ten plus two is twelve. So sixteen minus twelve. You only have four electron. Four electron left, right? Okay, so for electron here, you are going to put here 3P4, not 3P6. Uh, you, you, maybe you, you might ask, uh, P can have 6 electron. Why do we put here only 4? Okay, because the total number of electron here must refer to the total number of electron that is available in orbital S. Uh, sorry, in atom S. Okay, so 16. You add up all this number. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4. Eh, this one is 4. This one is 2. Sorry, sorry. This one is 2. Okay, uh, plus 2 plus 4. So, this one must equal to 16. Okay. So, so that is SPDF notation. Okay, next one. NA. Uh, so, the same thing. NA. So, NA, we start with 1S2. 2S2. 2 P6, okay, this is already 10, and then 3 S1. Okay, I remember this half bar configuration already, lah. you need to do some exercise or refer to the table lah, with the arrow. Okay, next one. CL, okay, now, it have charge. It means that proton number is equal to the electron, to the number of electron if it is neutral Atom. But this one, it have additional electron. Okay, so you should plus, so 17 should plus 1 electron. Lah. So you have actually total 18 electron. Lah. Uh, so let's us write down the SPDF notation. 1S2, 2S2, okay, 2P6. Okay, now it is 10 already. 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. 3S2, 12. Okay, 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. So, 3P6. Okay. So, 2 plus 6 is 8, right? Uh, so, this is the SPDF notation for CL. Okay. How many electrons are there? So, if you recalculate, uh, where is 6? Okay. 6 plus 2 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 plus 6 is 
18. Okay, so that is the electronic configuration. Okay, next, orbital diagram. Almost the same, eh? almost the same with SPDF notation. The differences is you write down the atomic orbital. Okay, uh, again, we are still writing down 1s. We didn't write down the number now. Okay, the number here we didn't write down eh? because the number is going to be represented by arrow. Arrow. So, this is actually if you write down uh, SPDF notation, this is 1s2, right? Okay, so 2 here is the electron for orbital diagram. Uh, this is SPDF, SPDF notation. Now you are writing orbital diagram. Okay, orbital diagram. Okay, next one is 2s, the same thing. It is only having one atomic orbital. So 2 plus 2, 4. And then 2p. Okay, 2p. P have three orientation. 1, 2, 3. So how are you going to fill this up? There are six electrons. If you still remember from the SPDF notation, there are still six electrons. And you need to follow Hans rule. Okay, parallel first before pairing up. Uh, so the most stable is like this, like this. And then, according to Pauli exclusion principle, at same subshell, you should have different spin. Okay? Different spin because it cannot have the same four quantum number, right? Okay, so this is 10 already. Next one is 3s2. Do not write 2 here, but represent it by using arrow. Okay, 12. But this one is 16. So, next one is orbital p. 1, 2, 3, okay, parallel first, and then pairing up, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, so this is your orbital diagram, 4, sulfur, okay, okay, that is your orbital diagram, okay, next one, okay, sodium, the same thing, the same thing, 1, S2, 2, S2, 2p6. Okay, now it is already 10, right? 10. So the last one is 3s1. Okay, I hope you get the idea on how to write this now. Okay, for CL, the same thing. 1s2. 2s2. Okay, 2p. It have three orientation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total now is 10. And then 3s, oh sorry, 3s, 1, 2, okay, now oh, total electron is 12, eh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, and then 3p, okay, 3p, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, because it is negatively charged. Okay, so that is how you are going to write down orbital diagram and also SPDF notation. Each of the arrow here refers to electron. Eh? Uh, the different direction of the arrow refers to the different spin, whether it is positive half or negative half. But the arrow upwards, okay, the arrow upward does not mean that it is positive half. It does not mean it is positive half. It can also be negative half. But if the arrow upward is positive half, the other one must be negative half. Okay. If this upwards arrow refer to negative half, uh, the other one must be positive half. Okay, but the arrow does not mean that it is positive half. It, it means it, it is one direction, not the one direction band. Eh? And the other one must be different direction. Okay, so I hope you get the idea of this uh, electronic configuration. I think it might be a little bit confusing. Um, but try to maybe rewatch this video and try to ask me if you have any problem or ask your friend. Okay, so that's it for today. So good luck. Bye.